and across the ring in the blue corner wearing red shorts gold and white trim on the scales at eight stone nine pounds eight ounces with head coach Shane McGuigan his record reads 17 wins from 17 contests 12 wins inside the schedule distance the former Celtic IBF Intercontinental Commonwealth and European champion from Belfast Northern Ireland the undefeated Carl the Jackal Brompton! Okay, gents, you've had your instructions in the dressing room. Remember, obey my commands at all time, defend yourselves at all time. God bless, touch gloves. Final words of advice for Shane McGuigan for Carl Frampton. In the opposite corner, Eduardo Montiel speaking to Hugo Casares. Fernando Montiel also in that corner. It's all on the line. El Incredible. Hugo Casares, is he going to upset Frampton? The crowd can't believe so. He's a switch hitter, Casares, good counter puncher. Slick. But Casares can do it all, can he, John? He can box going backwards, counter punch. He can fight going forwards. He got a decent dig in each hand. A solid left hand from Frampton. Good judgment of distance here from Frampton. He's just stalking Cazares, but he's not committing himself, Frampton. Knowing Cazares is a is a, a quick counter puncher. Lovely right hand through the guard there from, from Frampton, who's looking sharp from the offset. Harry McGuigan says of Carl Frampton, he's always been a natural counter puncher. But now he's hunting fighters down. Well, this guy is going to have to be hunted. Switch hitter. And you have to, I think, go back to 1999, the last time he was stopped. He had one loss as well in the last six years. Nice fast hands here, Frampton. Right hand to the body. Nice little left hook over the top. Has to take a little hook off Monte. Of Kazara, sorry. Cazares, hugely experienced, has completed 12 rounds on eight occasions. Comes into this having won his last five, beat former WBO flyweight champion Julio Cesar Miranda in his last fight. So maybe 36, but he's come here with a real ambition. This is the hardest test, on paper anyway, of Frampton's career. And Frampton looking for the stop, as you can see, he's looking for that big right hand. Just maybe needs a little feint then. Just to maybe try and draw Cazares out of his shell. Maybe get his hands and throw first. Good for Frampton. Real chance of that fight against Leo Santa Cruz coming up before too long if he can come through this. Whether it'll be here in Belfast, that remains to be seen. Looking to set him up for that right hand again. The body shot there, look from Gazaris on the move. Oh, cracking shot there from Carl Frampton. Nice counter from Casares, nice left hand of his own, interesting opening round. Yeah, good round, good competitive round there. Edge Frampton for being the aggressor. Landed with the heavier shots, I think. Casares come back with some good counter punches in the later half of that round just to show that he means business himself. 
good opening. Nice straight shot here from Cal Frampton. And he's going to have to throw in combinations. When you're fucking a counter puncher, yeah, you've got to throw some twos and threes. Way too long. Just ping it in. All right. The way, the longer you wait, right the more, as soon as you see it, just ping it in. The longer, the, the longer you have, the more chance he's got to count you and throw. Yeah, really. All right, and what, and read it. So as soon as you back him up, touch, touch, bang, and then straight back out in the jab, then come in for the second phase. Okay. Really nice, nice and calm. Keep those legs going. Seven. Legs are the most important thing for these first few rounds. All right? So Nine Barry two. Jones giving the first round to Carl Frampton. Into the second, this final eliminator of the WBC Super Bantamweight title. We've already seen evidence, though, of the skills of Casares. That's a solid right hand from Frampton. Two good punches there from Frampton, but Casares takes him out without any trouble. Learn fast, these quality Mexicans. He was fighting ten rounders very early stage of his career, Cazares. No shortage of action in the early exchanges of this. No, well, from the lander with a big right hand over the top, because Cazares fired back straight away to land with his own little lead right hook. It's a low shot there from Cal Frampton. Referee giving him time. I think he gave him a dead leg. Cazares a little bit of a dead leg there. I well, would uh, need to see a replay to know exactly how that happened, but it appears to be appears to be his leg that he's moaning about. It, it was a low shot. Crowd think that he's uh, making the most of it. It can hurt if you get hit on the hip, can't it? I mean, it might yeah. be that. Well, if you, get, you get hit in the muscle, leg and get cause a dead leg, can't it? So you know, I think he maybe got caught there, but. Uh, Cazares is no nonsense, he wouldn't be, he wouldn't be feigning anything. Look, nice little one-two there from Cazares. And Franklin's just waiting a little bit too long, isn't he? Needs a few more feints coming forward. Well, like that, like that! Brilliant left hand! Superb punch from Frampton. And Cazares can't believe it! He's been counted out! He stopped him! He got it wrong. He got it wrong. He was listening to the count, and he's been counted out. Well, he was ready to get up, but he didn't get up. Oh, it's yeah. finished here in the second round. He's been counted out, and Carl Frampton wins by knockout. Well, what was Cazares playing at? Unbelievable. First of all, what a crack and left hook over the top there from Carl Frampton. Cazares was hurt, he went down. But he wasn't hurt enough not to continue. He took the, done the right thing. He took the rest. He looked like he done the perfect thing. He was aware of his. He was around. His sense. He was aware of was around him. Just didn't get up. I don't know whether the translation or, or what. But what a what an error. There's nothing wrong with the referee done everything right. It's Cazares on his corner that had made the mistake there. Well, I can give no fault there whatsoever to Victor Lockley, and he made it very very clear that he was counting. Cazares appeared to be listening appeared to be looking to his corner to say he was OK and looked ready to stand, and he was simply counted out, he didn't react. Just like as you said, John, as you just said, John, just got it totally wrong. I don't know whether it's the translation thing or whatever, but it, the, the thing, it was, it was a, a bad way to end, but a, a good knock, a good knockdown from, from Carl Frampton, and the chances are he probably would have stopped Cazares anyway, he was a good finisher. But Cazares, looked, Cazares didn't look hurt, though. Now, fair. there's going to be people out there who are saying, let's watch a game. That's a great shot. That's yeah. a quality shot. A now, there shot. are going to be people out there saying, did he take the knee? Did he know what he was doing? He did take the knee. No, no. He was wobbly legs. If we're seeing it now, he's still a little bit wobbly there. He's taking a leg. He, he's, he's gaining his senses as we speak. He looked at a Frampton. He's smiling at Frampton. Just wasn't aware of the referee's count. Well, he was giving him the count using his fingers as well. He wasn't just speaking, so you can't say that there was a, a translation difficulty. Watch the referee counting. It's a heavy knockdown, for, for first and foremost. Look at that. And you can see the leg wobbles and then straightens in, and then he's down, and he's hurt. Well, that's a great shot against a man who hasn't been stopped. 
for a decade and a half. He's, pretty, no, he's still wobbly here, no, but he's getting sent. No, he's, he's fine there. Bravado. He looks at Frampton to smile while the referee's still counting. For a, for a really experienced fighter, it's a very poor error to make. Well, he was more interested in trying to prove a point to Frampton, wasn't he? Then get up, yeah, then get up on his feet. Too busy worrying about the Bravado, telling Frampton he was okay. But either way, good knockdown. The chances are Frampton would have finished him anyway. Well, here we go. It's all over, and here is confirmation. Ladies and gentlemen, timekeeper Dale Elliott records an official time of 1 minute 38 seconds into round number two. Referee Victor Lachlan reaches the count of 10. The winner by knockout, now mandatory challenger for the WBC Super Bantamweight Championship of the World from Belfast, Carl the Jackal. Frampton! He is ready. He's ready now for the big one. When will it be made? Where will it be made? Leo 